Hi beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hey, hi, hello, welcome, I am Finn. And in today's video, I'm so excited and yet incredibly nervous. So, as you can see by the title below, I have got a, I have, I have. <laughs> as you can see by the title below, I have got a Poundland fake tan, but it's not a gradual tan, it's an instant tan. Which is great because, you know, as I said in my previous video, I have no patience. So, I picked up, this tan, and it is the Jess Right Beauty Instant Tan. Um, I think this is such a gorgeous bottle. And as I said, it's from Poundland, so it's going to be a whole one pound coin, which is great because tans usually, whoops, because tans are usually a lot of money. Um, and then to go with this instant tan, I also picked up this new glove mitt thing. So I got this new Jess Right Beauty self tanning mitt, which is really affordable for one pound, so yeah. Two pounds, can't wait to try these. To be honest, I was gonna film this video yesterday, but then I also had work in the afternoon and I thought, well, if it goes really wrong, then I'm gonna to have to go into work either with a allergic reaction, a rash, or with bright orange legs. And I don't really, really wanna look like that girl out of Angus Fong's The Perfect Snogging, so I decided to leave it until today. My legs are pasty. It's almost like I'm the love child of Lord Voldemort and Bellatrix Lestrange. Sorry, but it's true roll up my sleeves. This is not a look. To be fair, they're not that bad because I wear short sleeves to work, so like here. Um, this bit's a little bit more pale, but the actual army bit is okay. I'm not too bad about that, but my legs. <laughs> These are my current legs. I mean, they are just pasty and I'm not happy with them in the slightest, so we are going to tan them up a little bit. Like I said to you guys, this is not a gradual tan. This advertises itself as a instant wash off tan. So you pop it on, you leave it there for however many hours that you need it. And then in the morning or after you've been out or whatever, then you wash it off. So either this is good or bad because I'll get it right and then it lasts for the next few hours or I'll get it wrong and I'm gonna have to wash it off. And I just really hope that if I do get it wrong, it does wash off properly. So, but I'm going to be testing that for you guys anyway to see if it does actually come off because fingers crossed it does. Without further ado, let's put this on my legs. I'm going to open this first actually just so we can have a wee look. To be fair, it is just a, a self tan mitt. There's, there's a little hole in it to be honest. So I'm not sure how good my camera is with that, but you can see like, there's a hole there. Um, so you can. This is definitely a one pound self tan mitt. You can feel it, it doesn't feel like it's any more quality or any higher quality really than a one pound self tan mitt. But hopefully it will do the job. Let's go. So I was gonna start with my legs and then I thought actually, you know, it's gonna be easier to start with my arms first. I've just got a bandeau top on. Bandeau, bandeau, I don't really know. So it doesn't really like, I don't have bra straps showing and things like that because that just messes it up. I won't lie to you guys. I'm not good at this. I am not good at fake tanning. I've done it maybe like a couple times in my life. You ready? I was gonna film this yesterday, so just to let you know really, really, really quickly, I have exfoliated. I shaved first and foremost with the Sanctuary Spa body scrub. Smells divine, by the way. And then this is what I use to exfoliate, and it's the Jack Wills 4 body scrub. See, I got this in the shade medium, and it looks dark. So I really, really hope that this is like the perfect shade for me um, because I am a little bit scared. No way did that work. instant um wow okay this looks good in real life whether it looks okay on my camera am i streaky right i'm impressed it doesn't smell it doesn't smell bad actually i can't decide whether it smells floral or whether it smells of like sweet right back onto my arm this is so exciting, I feel like I'm painting, but 
Yeah. <laughs> Wait. The mitt though is um, already buggered. I'm so impressed. Right? But I am in impressed. Like I'm so happy with that. For one pound, two pounds. You cannot go wrong. You can't go wrong. Like that is really natural. From what I can see and in my mirror, that's so natural. It's not like, it just doesn't look fake. It just looks like a little bit of a glow. I feel dewy as well. I don't feel like it's a matte tan. I feel very dewy. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let's do my legs. So this is one leg done and the other leg is still white. Let's crack on and do this one and then we can see a proper final difference. Okay lovelies, so I really do want to do a wear test, I'm going to leave this on my skin. I'm on a night shift tonight, I don't start until 10, so I'm probably going to leave this on my skin till about 6, just so that it can have a fair few hours, we can see how long it lasts, whether my skin does anything wrong. But so far, I am in love with this, just subtle and glowy, and it's £2, so yeah, I'm so, so happy. I'll see you guys in around 5-6 hours. Until then, love you, bye. Two hours later. Right, we have encountered an error, a lapse in judgment, a huge issue. Basically, I'm an idiot. So I decided in my almighty wisdom and my high procrastination record that I was gonna put aside all the important things I had to do for the day and clean my makeup brushes. Makeup brushes obviously need cleaning with water. Where did the water go? It went all over my legs, which has caused huge street marks, and I now look like Cadbury's curly whirly ripple bar. I will show you the damage, but it is a sad day for this channel. Exhibit A is a nice line where the water hit me. Exhibit B and C are two more lines where the water hit me. Right, so now I've stopped being absolutely dramatic. It came off so quickly, so quickly. The second the water had touched me, it was just dribbling off. I'm gonna go wash it off. We'll see what it looks like. It's been on for about three hours. Nothing special, not long, but it's been on for about three hours. We'll see what it looks like afterwards, if it's come off completely, if it might have left like a little bit of a tan. But until I've washed it, we don't know. So I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Hi beautiful, so I'm back, I've just got out of the shower and I've scrubbed it all off um, and as far as I can tell it has definitely all come off which is amazing especially if you just want a temporary temporary tan so I do have some pros and I also obviously have some cons but basically the pros are that I love the colour it went on super easily and it is definitely temporary because you can take it off straight after but obviously I do have some cons, the cons are that it's not very hard wearing, it's not very long lasting, so I would still give it a thumbs up because it was one pound and it does exactly what it says on the tin. The only thing is it's not as hard wearing. So there's my legs again. They don't look any different to what I did this morning. I've taken all of the tan off obviously and yeah, so pasty white again. Okay guys, that's the end of today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that like button and maybe hit the subscribe button if you want to see or hear more from me. If you're going to hit the sub button, also hit the bell notification so you're notified the second that I post anything new. That'd be really appreciated. I really, really hope you have a fantastic day, evening or weekend, no matter where you are in the world. And I really hope to see you again in the next one. Love you, bye.